Hi everyone, uh, Sarah here, first ever video, so let's see how this goes. Um, first, I want to show you what I've been doing the last couple of weeks, and I got this idea from um, Sonia Stepter, who's on YouTube and she's based in Australia. And um, basically what she has been creating is these sort of angel wings. And what I've done is I've made some large ones. And then I've made some little diddy ones. Now, how she's made them is slightly different to how I've made mine. So if I quickly give you a run through on how I've made mine, but you can also go and check her video out and see how she's done hers for comparison. Um, so I've started off with, and excuse my drawings, just a rough stencil. So a large style and then a small style. And what I've done is I've put pins in at certain intervals and then I have grabbed my wire which is five millimeter wire so it's very flexible and I've basically just traced all around the outside and then I've overlapped it at the end so that when you take it off, if I show you a larger one, so when you take it off, you can then wrap one wire around the other wire. And what you can do, if it's kind of bent out of shape, is you can put it back onto your stencil and then rework it. So you can just have a little play with it, see where it goes and you'll need two of them, one for either side so you can use the same stencil because then all you'll literally do is just flip the other one the other way and ooh, this one's slightly bent out of shape so you'll end up with two and the easiest thing I found from next from doing that is if you grab some lace, what have I got in my cupboard? Just any style of lace. Don't use hot glue because it dries far too quick on the wire. <coughs> Excuse me. And you've got two of these to do. So, if I tilt the table up, because I've got my camera at the wrong angle. I've used Yoohoo glue, so it's an all-purpose adhesive. You can use super glue or any form of cold glue that you've got. Glue right the way around the edge on both. And simply lay your material over the top and push it down. And then, once that's dry... Um, you'll be able to pick it up so it will have the two pieces this side and then you'll have it on the other side all stuck down you want to cut around but leave leave a little gap because what you're going to do is you're going to fold the edging over so you'll put glue along the other side and just gently fold and press all the little bits down so that you get a nice finish on this side and then what I've done is I've done this one in a coloured thread so you can see I've stitched the two halves together and then the bead that I've chosen you can then, because it's stitched it's then sturdy you can then hot glue uh, a pretty gemstone to the front um, you can use anything really that you've got buttons I could have used an earring um, what else is there in here yep lots of little dangly bits anything really that you could find something from a bracelet um, but I've tended to go with quite blingy pieces and the ones I've chosen have got holes in so what I've done is I've put them on and then I've sewn in between the holes to the material to hold the bead in place and I've done it on this one as well in a different so you can see so it's just stitched on 
and then you can hot glue your ribbon to the back and I think I've got a little one there. so in blue and then you've got your ribbon attached to the back so they're quite pretty when they hang um, they, you can do them in loads of different colours I mean I've done a little white one here a blue I've done a pink there's my pink one gone oh. I've done a little pink one and on this one I've stuck the bling onto the so kind of used Sonia's uh, approach and just adapted it slightly um, yeah just see what you guys can come up with but I'm having loads and loads of fun doing this and I uh, hope you guys do too thank you bye